What's up guys, welcome to the video. It's your coach, Jimmy G, and we're back today on the ATG track. We are starting the standards benchmark. Now, there's like 15 exercises in there. We're gonna split it up into three videos um, so that you can digest each one of these. And we started off with zero, right? Where it was just our body weights solidifying the foundations of the tendons. Then we moved on to the dense, which was a little bit more intense, right? We introduced the upper body push pull. Now we're going into a standards, which is going to be, again, just another upgrade, another level up. Um, yeah, I'm trying to stay consistent with these exercises, especially when you're juggling a lot of things outside of creating content and providing value to people. Uh, so, yeah, no more talking. Let's get into the exercises. Hopefully you guys enjoy and you're getting some value out of this. Click the thumbs up. Let's go. Welcome back to the video, guys. So here we have our first movement, the Peterson step up. We're used to the Patrick step up, right? Where we're loading our patella tendon and our heel is flat on the box. Peterson step up is a little different. So what we're doing is the foot has a, a, a tripod um, foot placement, right? Where we have the calcaneus, but then we have our, our pinky toe and our big toe, right? First and fifth metatarsal. Um, what is happening here is as we step off the box, our pressure is going to be on the pinky toe and the big toe. And what is happening is the ankle is going to start to stabilize and shake a little bit. And what we're doing is tendon bathing, right? Where we're loading the tendon of the ankle and then slowly, boom, pushing off. And then at the top, we're engaging our patella tendon. Um, check your ego at the door when it comes to the way because I try to go heavier uh, to match kind of like, I think it was 25% of my body weight. Couldn't do it, dropped a little bit in weight. And the whole goal here is to be intentional. And yeah, I'm still struggling a little bit with the lighter weight, um, but it's, I think I used the eight inch box on this one. Coming down nice and control and intentional is your goal because when you press off the ground, so you notice me right here, press off the ground and you slowly and engage that range of motion, that movement, so that you really start to stabilize and solidify a solid foundation on that ankle. Um, again, your rep range from here is going to be a 12 rep range on the right, 12 rep range on the left for at least three sets. Uh, I think, let me check real quick here. It, it's telling us to go at a 25% of our body weight. I cannot do 25% of my body weight. I did a little bit lighter. Um, but yeah, go at your own pace. This is the Peterson step up, an excellent exercise to strengthen and stabilize that ankle in order to transition to anything else that you choose to do on your fitness journey. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Nordic curl in the standards program, a little different than the normal Nordic curl. So it's a, it's a three-step process here. We start off with the one, Marty St. Louis. He's a famous NHL hockey player who did these for a long time, which is a full range of motion, dead stop come up. And then you do three, Jonathan Edwards, who was a triple jumper in the Olympics, who won it at the age of like 35. Um, he also did these, notice my face, really, really tough. Um, just keeping and keeping that tension on the hammies and the back of the knees. Then we, it's followed by one eccentric Patrick Nordic. We're going all the way down. Notice I use my fingers, but I keep the tension in the hamstring. Um, so yes, so we go one, three, one. One Marty St. Louis down, diamond in the back, glutes, hammies contracted all the way up, right? Then we go into three Jonathan Edwards, which are pulsers, I like to call them. Tension is constant on this one. One, boom, back up. Two, you're gonna have to go to the depth and that you can go comfortably. Everyone's level is gonna be different. Um, I, I definitely recommend doing these at least once uh, a, a week, if not twice a week, if you can, and your, your body's recovered. And then, so after three of those, we go into one Patrick eccentric all the way down. I like to go three rounds of these. Trust me, these are tough, but they're gonna make your athleticism go through the roof and your knee pain a lot less. Our single leg back extension here, guys. I didn't have the hyper extension machine, so I had to use the Smith machine with the padding. Um, as Ben Patrick suggested. I would suggest a hyperextension machine, 
because I personally feel it more on the hyperextension machine, but this one's okay for um, as a secondary option here, right? Your goal in the mind is intentional, retraction, and we're hinging at the hips. And what we're gonna do here is we're lengthening the hamstring just like the elephant walk from the Zero program and the, uh, the, the Jefferson curl in the Dense program. Um, hamstrings are lengthening and strengthening, our hinge is happening, our lower back, our QLs are activating uh, to get us back up into an extended position. This one's just going to bulletproof the hammy a little bit more and also strengthen your posterior chain. Um, like I said, to me, this felt a little awkward with the barbell. Uh, I did it with the dumbbells. You could also add a um, deadlift variation with a barbell, right? Where you're using it, a barbell to hinge through and pick it up. Uh, I would suggest it on the hyperextension machine, like I said before. This one's going to be 25% of your body weight, 12.5 on the left, 12.5 on the right. Uh, mind to muscle. Retraction, okay? Allow the glutes to push. I use the glutes right here, look, to drive it forward. Boom, an extension right there. Uh, yeah, 10 reps on the left, 10 reps on the right. Try it out. Let me know what you guys think. And that's it. All right, everybody, it's not our first rodeo here. The piriformis stretch, again, I always use this specific variation right here. Another variation is using the box, and I think there was one more, um, I think it was a standing one, I believe. Uh, anyways, I don't even remember because this one right here is the gold mine for me personally. Why? Because that back, as you see me pointing it down, if you can get that lower back to go flat on the ground, the piriformis and pushing that knee, it's go, you're going to feel a deeper stretch um, than what I felt with using the other variations because I, I remember my hip kept taking over where that piriformis is is right by the glute area, you know? Um, a lot of overload from the squats and your conventional style of training um, will definitely tighten them up. But again, three sets of one minute on each side, you can't go wrong. Again, my back's a little bit up, but you can calibrate this. You can play around, almost like that tendon bathing. You can bathe it in, slowly going up and down. The whole goal is to feel, feel in your mind. Um, but yeah, that's the piriformis stretch right there, guys. Another banger and staple for your workout here, the QL bends, okay? The quadratus lumborium bends. Ben likes to do the standing split stance and side bending. I like to drive the foot into the wall here. It takes a little bit of flexibility, but what you get out of this one is your glutes, your, your glute meads, your QLs, and your obliques um, are all activating here, right? Um, depending on the, the, the angle of your shoulder, it will dictate whether you're hitting the oblique or the QLs or a little bit of both. It's time under tension, slow it down. Um, the goal I think was 25% uh, percent of your body weight. I'm not too sure if I would ever call for this one, um, but 10 reps on the left, 10 reps on the right, three rounds, go at a weight that you could do properly. Ladies and gentlemen, and there you have it, our standards part one video, part two and part three are coming out. Straight transparency, I love the Zero program. I love the Dense program. The standards, I'm a little iffy right now. There's a few things that I liked about it, at least for part one, and there's a few things we could substitute out. We'll see for part two and part three. Um, but all in all, the goal here is to show up consistently, have fun. Not every rep and, f and your form is going to be perfect, but as long as you're showing up and you're gaining that experience and that knowledge, You'll be able to give back to others to add value to their lives, whether it's making them pain-free, um, you know, performing better, even looking better. So, and that is what's going to give you a, a feeling of contribution in order to, yeah, fill yourself up. At least that's for me, you know, because that's that's feeling of contribution is what fills me up and gives me purpose. So, smash that thumbs up. Uh, what else? <laughs> Comment, subscribe. I always forget this thing. And let me know uh, if you want to see more of these of these videos because it holds me accountable to make video and content for you guys. Um, but yeah, other than that, 
Thank you. Until the next video, part two, peace.